Hey there, Heather Boyd Wire here, and welcome to day eight of the 10 Day Wire Gift Making Challenge. So today we're gonna make some scarf pins. They can also be hair pins. And what you're gonna need for the project is 16 gauge wire and your tools, a ruler, and some optional beads. So for the star, I'm gonna take a 12 inch piece of wire and just start bending about an inch and a half from the end. And we're just going to do a little bend and then we're going to every inch do another bend. So just bend it, put it back to the ruler, bend it. Now I have done these on templates before on jigs, but it's just as easy to do it with the ruler. And you're going to see it's going to start forming the shape of the star. And the idea is you bend it back and forth and you can do the final adjustments at the end to get the shape perfect but we're just going to keep bending back and forth you see it coming along about one inch seems to be a good size you can make it bigger or smaller if you like and just keep going until you have 10 of these bends so we're just going to keep going around keep going around so just when you getting closer just check it out yeah, so we just need this one more here. Put it back on the ruler. Just hold it in place. So there you have your shape of the star. And now you just have to um, finish it off. So we should measure this last end actually another inch. And then bend this one the opposite way up. And we want to bend this one around here so what we're going to do for that is just take this bend it around hold it and pull it tight you might because it's thicker wire you might have to use your pliers your flat pliers to pinch it in a little bit and then we're going to take our cutters cut it right in there and then push this so it's flush and then just make sure it's sort of in the right position and then you can actually pinch it a little bit more and then we have to get rid of this end so I'm just going to take this and bring it around like that and then we're going to clip it here and pinch it in so if you find it easier you to finish it inside you can otherwise just finishing it on the one end is fine and then to check that it's a good start this line has to be straight this line straight you can bring it in this line straight and this line straight so that's how you check that it's a perfect star and then what you want to do now is make a little stick right so we're going to cut it let's do another 12 inches always better to cut too long than too short and then what I thought would be super cute is just do like a little moon at the end but what we want to make sure first is that this is going to be the right sort of size for the stick we're going to measure it from here to here and then what I'd like to do is just a little bit of a jog in the middle it just helps it so it doesn't like come out as much so we're just going to do like a little this, this, you're not even going to see it. It's going to be behind the scarf and just in there. And that's just going to give it a little bit more something to grab onto. So then here we want to form what's going to be at the other end of the stick. So I thought it'd be cute to do a moon. So we're just going to take this, bring it up here, take a round form, bring it around. Just make it whatever size you want. Probably don't want it too big. And then bring this one back. And maybe get the smaller marker. Bring that around here. And then adjust it a little bit. Adjust it a little more if you want. This wire is stiffer for sure. And then we're just going to bend that back here, just that. And then we're gonna bring it around to form the rest of the 
moon. Sometimes it's easier to hold it at the edge of the marker. So we're going to bring it up here and just kind of curve it the best you can around there. And then already we have what looks like a little moon. And then it's easier to help the um, wire around with your pliers. Hold it here, bring it around, pull it tight, give it a clip. And we're just going to close that up. So there you have your star with the moon stick. So for the heart, I'm going to take an 8 to 10 inch piece of wire. And basically what I do is I just fold this in half. This was a design that my daughter Mimi came up with when she was little. So basically you kind of do that and pull it apart and it already starts to look like a heart. So what you're going to do is get your round form, bring it around to form the heart. And then this side, just bring it around. And there you already have a really cool heart. And then you want to make sure it's somewhat even, doesn't have to be perfect. And then you're just going to take these ends this one, I'm just going to trim it so it's flush. So we'll take the end and twist it around. So we've twisted it there. And then this one is going to go inside. And there you can make sure it's somewhat centered. And also give it a little clip. And then this one you can just bend around here. So that's easy. And then we're going to make a fancy stick to go through it. So to make the stick, I have about 12 to 15 inches of the 16 gauge wire. And I want to make a little triangle at the end. So I'm going to take my flat pliers and just start forming a triangle. So this is going to be the tip of the arrow. And I'm using my flat pliers because it's easier to make a bit of a sharp bend. So we're just going to keep going around and around and just try to make somewhat of an arrow. So just make it whatever size you want. This seems to be a pretty good size. And then I'm just going to bring it around here and then bend it like in the center down here. So this is sort of the beginnings of an arrow. And then we're going to have it like go through the heart like that. And if you want to make something for the um, this to grip onto a little bit, you can do the little bend in the wire if you want in the middle. And then the other thing you can do is if you want it like sort of more three dimensional in, in the middle, just to really grab the fabric a little bit more, you could even do like this type of thing where you do like almost like a little spring in the middle just to give it a little bit more something for the scarf to grab onto. And then so we're just going to do that and then bend this one down. And then this can, like I said, this will just have some, something a little more to grab the scarf on. And then what we're going to do is measure how you want it like if it's going to be somewhat centered like that leave a little bit here and we want to do the tail of the arrow so we're just going to go about here we'll start to form the tail of the arrow so we're just going to go like this and bend this at about a 45 degree angle and then we're going to bend this at about half an inch up and we're going to do this. You could do a plain stick if you want. You don't have to do the arrow. And then we're going to bring this down here and then bend this back up there. And then we want it to come down because we want to do three of these. So it's going to come down the middle and then say again at about half an inch, could be a little less this way. And then we're going to bend this to the front here and then down and bend this one to the back and you can do a third one if you want 
or you can just leave two depending on how long you want the stick I think two looks good but if you want to do three just put them closer together so then we're going to clip that and we're just going to bend that one down in there and then you can always adjust these ones a little bit and that would be the stick to go inside the heart and that would just go in like that on your scarf so for the peace sign i have about a 12 to 15 inch piece of wire i just bent it at a right angle here about four or five inches from the end i'm going to take my round form and just wrap it around the round form like this and i won't make it too too big but you can definitely make it bigger than this so we have that here and then I'm just going to bring this one around and give it a little snip. If this one's not long enough, you can, you can either bend this one over or bend that one over. I'm just going to clip this one. And then I'm going to put that one flat here. And then you can always put it back on here so it doesn't get distorted. And then you're going to bend this wire to the front okay so that's going to form the beginning of your piece sign and then we're going to just bring it in here bring it around and make sure it's nice and snug and then you can just clip that in there and adjust that a little bit so make sure it's centered and once that's centered just take your end and just pinch it in okay and you can always adjust it after but that looks good so then you'll need another one that's about four inches and you're just going to bend that one on an angle just add a little angle there and then this one is going to go on top of there and what you want to do is make sure you bend these in the right place so you're going to just take that one and bend it here if you want to make sure it's going to be perfectly uh, centered, you can just measure it on your ruler. So this one, I bent it up at about one and a quarter. And this one too, you could bend it up at one and a quarter. So now we're just going to bend them a little bit more. So now you're just going to make sure that it's a good measurement there. And then what you're going to do is just take these, hold it in place and bring that down, hold it in place and bring that one down and then you want to cut them like re like make sure there's a little bit of space in there that you can pinch it even more so just kind of cut it right in there and then what you're going to do is pinch them in place so we're going to go like that go like that and then adjust it to the position that you want flip it over and then just bend this in, give it a pinch, and this one, bend it in. And give it a pinch and make sure they don't wiggle. That's perfect. So that's the beginning part of the peace sign. So for the stick, we'll keep it simple. We just have about a four or five inch piece of wire. Make sure you know how much you want it to extend out the back. And then we're just going to make a loop. So just take this, bring this around, and we just want to have a loop because we're going to dangle some beads on it. So we're going to take that, give it a clip, and pinch it shut. So to attach the beads, we're just going to take two to three inches of 18 or 20 gauge wire. We're going to bend a little loop at the end, and then you're just going to add your beads. So I thought it would be cute to do a little heart bead and then we can do a miracle bead. This is a six millimeter. And then a little spacer bead. And then a glass bead. So we'll stick that on there. And then we're going to cut this to three eighths to half an inch. And take our round pliers and bend it back and around. And then we'll just hook it onto the stick. Bring that one around there. 
So then when you put it through the peace sign, the little beads are going to dangle down. So to attach them to a scarf, you would just take your piece here and then bunch up your scarf and then just stick that underneath and then just stick that one through there. So there's the peace sign and then we're going to do the star. So same thing, we're just gonna put it, bunch up the fabric and take our moon, put it underneath and then bring it through. So this stick we probably could have made even a little bit smaller, but that's okay, you can figure it out as you go. So this will this will actually just be more stuck under there. This is just like a little strip of fabric, but this shows you sort of the idea. And then for the heart, we're gonna take the heart and stick it here. And then we have on our arrow, so the arrow you could stick underneath and then up to that side and you have the heart. You'll probably have to stick a little more fabric in for the heart one if it's quite wide, but this just gives you an idea of how it looks. So you can check out all the details for the challenge in the description below. If the challenge is already over, no problem. You can still check out the creations in the Facebook event page or on Discord. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for lots more DIY wire art and jewelry making videos. Hit the notification bell to be notified when I go live and when I post new videos. And if you'd like to share pictures of your wire art creations, be sure to join the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook. And if you'd like to check out our work on Etsy, my husband and I specialize in custom wedding cake toppers and funky jewelry. I'll put the link below. And also I have a mailing list, so if you'd like to join the mailing list, I'll send you my Wire Art Essentials ebook. So thanks again for watching the video. Thanks to everybody who's participating in the challenge, and we'll see you the next time.